Good morning! I am feeling loads better today. Uh, I think I just needed some rest. I did get some really good sleep last night, so I'm feeling a lot better. I'm about to straighten my hair, tame this wild beast. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to chit chat for a second because I just had a struggle. I should have filmed it, but I didn't. But my straightener plug, I usually hang it over over the rod of the little shelf that goes behind our toilet and the the plug fell down to the floor where okay so I've been coexisting in this bathroom with a spider I've named her Charlotte um, and she had made like a little web nest in the um, in the plug and I felt super bad that I had to move her home she's just doing her own thing you know and I, I generally don't like to kill spiders um, because I know that they help my bug problem. They're just daddy long legs, so they're harmless. But I felt so bad because I just broke her home. And she's just right there. She's trying to crawl up, but oh, let's, let's take a look at this. Charlotte, no! I'm so sorry! Are you mad at me? Girl, you fine. You're fine. She's just very mad at me right now. <laughs> Oh, see, and I'm going to straighten my hair, and I figured we could chit-chat. So sorry, Charlotte. She's just scrambling around trying to find a new place. <laughs> sorry, girl. You'll find another spot. Uh, so, yeah, today um, I'm going to the store to go shopping because it's payday, and we have a little bit of extra money that I can use. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And y'all see how long my hair is? This takes forever. Don't even mention the fact that it takes forever for it to dry. Charlotte, what are you doing? She's just jumping around down there. Oh, I have friends, see? It's the spider that lives in my, in my bathroom. Now see, I'm going to go shopping today. Um, just get outside. It's supposed to be a really nice day today. No rain. Good job, Florida. I'm literally using the viewfinder right now to straighten my hair because, okay, let's, let's talk about that for a second. This is what I see. I'm at my eye level right now. Mirrors all the way. Oh, see? You can see that I'm short because I can't clean the top of the... <laughs> I can't clean the top of the, the mirror. But this is what I see. So, nine times out of ten, I just blindly straighten my hair. And then I go out to the full length mirror. Look at this outfit! Style it! Um, I come out here to check how my progress is going and then I go back in there blindly straighten my hair and then come back out here. So yeah, this is actually working pretty well. I'm still on my tiptoes, but... So, I'm feeling better today. Emotionally and physically I'm feeling a lot better. I think I just needed time to myself to just accept my negative feelings and move on with my life. Charlotte, where'd you go? I lost her. No, Charlotte, where did... Oh, there she is. Okay. Whew. I got nervous. And for the first time since yesterday morning-ish... Oops. Since yesterday morning, I'm actually hungry, so I may make a little bit of breakfast just to keep hitting the doorknob, just to, you know, get something in my tummy. Okay, I can't stand on my tiptoes anymore. Though I'm used to blindly straightening my hair, so 99% of the time there's always a spot that I miss, but that's just what I have to go through. You know, as a short person, you adapt to your surroundings since Ori is a giant. And you know what? It's funny because he's a giant. That full length mirror, he can't see. He has to kind of bend down to look in it. But with the bathroom mirror, he can see just fine. But I, I can't. I see the top of my head. So I know all the time when the top of my head looks perfect. <laughs> I drank my coffee. I feel good. I think I'm going to take the Prius today. So I'm, you know, it gives me an excuse to drive the Prius. And I'm planning on doing something drastic, y'all. I'm planning on cutting my hair. Only for the fact that, as I've mentioned, 
My hair doesn't dry quickly. I hate using a blow dryer because it still takes a long time because it's so thick and long. Uh, that, you know, takes too long to dry. So I was thinking, well, what's the solution to this problem for when I go on the road? Because when we get our times to take a shower, and say we're up in somewhere that's cold, like up north in Maine, or anywhere else that's cold, and I have to go take a shower, and then I have to get back to the truck, I don't want to run through the parking lot of the truck stop in what, 10 degree weather with soaking wet hair or at least towel damp hair and I don't want to die. So I am going to cut my hair so that it's shorter so hopefully it'll take a little less time to dry fully. Bleh. And I've always had long hair. I've always had, you know, the locks. That's what I was known for was being super short with super long hair. But if I do, if I cut my hair, I've cut my hair, you know, short before, and short meaning like shoulder length, and I feel like it makes me look like even younger than I am. So, that's always good. But you know what? Hair does not define who I am. And even though I'm half an adult, I know my worth. <laughs> Body positivity! That'll do. I'm just gonna finish getting ready for the day. Um, get out of this awesome attire that I, I am wearing. Super, super cool. Yeah. I don't know what storm I'm going to. We'll see. It's going to be a good day, I promise. So I straightened my hair just to put it up in a ponytail. <laughs> I really need to cut my hair. Uh, so yeah, now I'm in the car. I am going to Walmart, probably. Um, because I think they'll have her Christmas Christmas I keep saying Christmas gift it's not a Christmas gift it's a birthday birthday gift uh, I think they have her birthday gift there I have to get some dog food as well uh, I'm just gonna peruse around enjoy my day outside it's a little overcast I thought it was supposed to be a nice day I wonder if it's just the the sky still waking up it's about 1030 so it should you know be finishing up waking up soon all right, let's go to Walmart. All right, I just got done with Walmart. I carried the 20, 20 pound bag of dog food from the front of the store all the way to where I parked in the back. I got my workout in today. I can feel it in my arms, so I don't have to work out. Oh uh, yeah, I got her birthday presents, you know, went in and out. I got a little busy towards the end, so I was just trying to rush to get out. Uh, but yeah, now I don't have anything else to do. It's only 11.13. And I want to do something today. I just, just don't know what. It's still overcast outside. Like, the weather forecast said it was just cloudy and no chance of rain. But this weather is, like, looking outside is making me think otherwise. Check this out. Like, it's just like this. All around. It's just not, it's not a nice day. So my plans of actually going outside and exploring... I've dwindled. I don't know. I mean, I guess I'd rather. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want her to see me. This granny got blue hair, y'all. Uh, she's who I inspire to be in life. Come on, granny. Yes, queen. That was exciting. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like going outside in this. But then I don't know, you know what I do I guess it's better than being bright and sunny but I don't know I'm just I have a feeling it's gonna rain I don't want to get caught in the rain either also check this out my purse and my nails kind of match today <laughs> yay so I'm home uh, I took the Prius out for a drive for a little while just drove around didn't really go anywhere in particular just wanted to get the battery up and going so we don't have a repeat of what happened last time where we came home I uh, say so yeah, I went shopping, went driving, came home, uh, had a little bit of something to eat. I feel better today. I feel a lot more optimistic. I feel a lot more just refreshed, if that makes any sense. I think I just needed good sleep to rest off everything that was going on in my mind and in my body. Uh, so yeah, I definitely feel better. And now I have nothing to do. <laughs> oh crap! I didn't buy my sister a birthday card. Okay, here are my options. Option number fun is make my own. 
Option number two is to go back out to the store before her birthday, which is Tuesday, but we're celebrating on Monday. Um, I could go back out to the store and buy another one. Or buy one. I think I'm going to make one. They wouldn't call it option number fun if it wasn't fun, right? Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get my paints out. I'm going to make one. I'm not going to show you guys because I want it to be a surprise for my sister, but I think I'm going to make one for her. <laughs> Done! I did her... I keep wanting to say Christmas! Christmas is gone! Christmas is always in my heart, but Christmas has come and gone. That's a fact. Uh, I just made my sister's birthday card. Uh, I like it. Super simple. Watercolors. I'm waiting for it to dry so we can finish up some details. But I'll probably just wait until tomorrow to do that to make sure it's completely dry. Because I don't want the pen and the in the and the watercolor paint to mix. And huh, good times. I feel like camping out on the couch today. I feel like bringing all like snacks and and drinks and get my blankets all piled up on the couch and. Having a couch day. Currently watching toddlers and tiaras. I don't know why. It's like a train wreck. You can't stop watching it. Oh, she's a little monkey. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. I hate the beauty part of toddlers and tiaras, but the little uh, dances and like the special costumes and stuff like that. Some of them are pretty cute. Like this little girl's a monkey. She got a little banana on her tummy. It's cute. It's really cute. I've made my camp on the couch. I've been sitting here watching Toddlers and Tiaras still. I can't get enough of it. It's my guilty pleasure. Uh, but I just realized it's Friday the 13th. Spoopy! Super duper entertaining. <laughs> Y'all, I just got the email saying my federal tax return was accepted, which means I don't have to go through and fix things like I had to do last year! <laughs> wow, that's super lame. That was the most lamest thing I've ever said. I, my taxes got accepted. <laughs> no. Y'all, I was right. I knew it. I knew it was going to rain today. The forecast said 0% chance of rain all day. Look at that. It's raining. And now I got my popcorn. I'm watching a movie. Zoolander 2. I haven't seen it yet. I love the first one. And I don't, I don't remember what I heard about the second one, but I'm excited to watch it. I'll let you guys know afterwards. Why didn't you guys stop me? <laughs> that was an hour and a half of my life wasted. I feel really gypped off of a sequel. I mean, don't get me wrong, there were a few points in the movie that were pretty good, like the whole um, headmaster of the school plot twist, that was pretty good. Uh, but I feel like it's just like every other... let me pause this. I feel like it was just like any other sequel where they just reused a lot of the same scenes for like the, oh my god, they did that again. Like, I hate that. They can't come up with, like when they did Anchorman, Anchorman 2, I was super excited to see Anchorman 2 because I love Anchorman. But then they ended up just using a lot of, like the same plot in like same exact scenes, but just updated. And it was like, really? You couldn't think of anything else to do? But anyway, now I'm watching a movie on Netflix called The Late Bloomer. Um, it says a sex therapist with pituitary issues finally gets to experience puberty in all its glory at age 30 when an operation unleashes his raging hormones. It surprisingly has almost four stars, so that's why I wanted to watch it. I was like, hmm, I mean, it has a pretty good rating, but I'm hoping people didn't rate it good because it's bad. I can't handle another bad movie. <laughs> So I just finished the movie. Um, I thought it was pretty good. It was it was really funny, but then some parts were obviously awkward, and then the dialogue kind of you know it got lost a little bit. But I liked it. I thought it was I thought it was pretty funny, and it was a different storyline if you think about it. It's about this guy who never went through puberty, um, and, and so he had surgery to correct what happened, and then it just kind of follows his story along from there. But yeah, I thought I thought it was it, I thought it was pretty good. So, yeah. Now I'm on my floor. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to watch Hurricane Bianca. I've been hearing a lot about this one, so I really wanted to watch it. I will tell you guys how it is after. So I just finished Hurricane Bianca. Oh my... Hi, Ori. Oh my gosh. That movie was so good. I was literally cackling at this movie. It was so, 
so good. I recommend it to all of you, everybody. Watch it now. Netflix, Hurricane Bianca. Whew, that was so funny. Ori, hold on one second. Uh, I'm going to close this vlog out. I hope you guys had a really great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!